when God gave us Jesus he gave us everything but when he gave us the Holy Ghost he gave us himself for when he died I died when he was buried I was buried when he was raised from the dead I was raised from the dead now he's seated at the right hand of God I'm seated at the right hand of God you have no right over me expand your world with Pastor David Abueli. Why are men struggling? And remember when I say men, I mean men and women. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. I want to show this so that when we say authentic manhood, the ladies, I expect you with time to create a new brand for your, but when we say authentic manhood, you don't think we're only talking about men. Women are men. Men are men. They all, God called them man. But Adam called her womb man. Because she has another equipment he didn't have. Ability to carry babies. God said, let us make man in our image. That's male and female, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, created, he created him. Male and female created he them. Can you see that man exists in male and female version? We well, can read it again. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female created it them. So God calls it man, Adam. We are the ones separating them into sex. And ladies, don't let anybody make you a less man because you are not. If you even ask me, I think you are more sophisticated. Because you have everything we have, but you have more sophisticated equipment inside. You know, an aircraft can be a car. It rolls on the ground like a car. But it has some other thing. That aer you know, aerodynamic power engine that it has, that the car doesn't have, is the additional. That's why women have the additional equipment. That's why Genesis chapter 2 said, God created man. God made man actually when he was talking about how he designed our body God made man the word is a s a h asa but when he came to woman instead of using asa he used pana because asa means made like a sculptor makes something forms an image but pana means to skillfully make to add extra touch the painting was properly finished uncle bon can't you see the difference between you and your wife <laughs> and you know the amazing thing is that there are hormones equipment god put inside them when they are newly born sometimes boys and girls you don't see them. as they start growing these hormones start you see the skin getting small look at look at look at that face you see the guys on i don't know what happens to it Okay. It's a confusion in the world now. Women who want to be men, and some men who want to be women. Male and female created in them. 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 And he told both of them to go and have dominion. Dominion is leadership. Dominion is influence. Dominion is to affect your generation. Who told the ladies that you can't do ministry? Who told the ladies you can't be a governor? Who told the ladies you can't be president? Who told the ladies you can't be the wealthiest person in Nigeria? Who told the ladies that you can't? 
You can't own an estate. Who told you that? Who told you that all you are designed to be is a sex toy? Go to Genesis chapter 3. From verse 16. Kabalabo kotobo momume haya. To the woman, this is a cause that God laid because of the disfiguring that occurred with the fall of man. How womanhood was disfigured. Watch. So there is a cause. That's why we are here. Are you going to leave the expression of the cause? Or you're going to leave the expression of the authentic woman? Because Jesus came to reverse everything that Adam damaged. The purpose of the second Adam is to reverse, to pay the price, to reverse everything that the first Adam caused. Look at what damage is occurred in a woman. Unto the woman, he said, I'll greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. We know that one of them is this issue about childbirth and all the problems. In pain, you shall bring forth children. That's number one. Number two. Your desire shall be to your husband. That's number two. So a woman grows up. The only thing she's looking forward to. Somebody to come and marry her. She's not thinking about her purpose. How to become a pastor. How to become an apostle. How to go and take nations. How to plant churches. How to subdue kingdom. How to build a bank. How to start an NGO. To affect a generation. All that... God said go and have dominion male and female now she's not thinking about her calling she's not thinking about her dominion mandate all she's not thinking about which man that will come and take me away from my father's house your desire shall be to your husband the only thing you are looking for is a male partner without a man you cannot be complete it's a curse we are going to break it here this day in the name of Jesus Christ The third one, he shall rule over thee. So you see women, they are in relationship, they are battered, they are being beaten, they are brutalized, and they have to stay there. Because without the man, they won't be whole. The man is your life. The man is your God. Where is the dominion mandate? Where is the You can't beat a queen. When you recover the image of a queen, a man is made a king but the woman is a queen the woman is not a maid God did not make a king and a slave girl a maid God made a king and a queen he pulled her from his side the back of throne like they say the man is the head the woman is the neck that makes it turn you can't beat an Esther you can't there is a way a woman recovers the image of royalty the image of dignity you can't raise that hand if you do you will repent till you die you can't do it but this thing that has damaged womanhood makes them number one that's why ladies can't keep their legs short anymore I need a man I need a man I'll be opening their legs to everything that passes by and once they sleep with her they devalue her because that's not how you do it. You don't go to a Mercedes car and carry a car. After you drive it, you don't come and pay. No, pay before you drive. I think it's one uh, community in eastern Nigeria. I, I won't want to call them. They said, no, we have to test first. To see before we marry. Tell him to hell with you. Because once he finishes testing, he said, mm, I don't think I really like Like... One man that used to exist in my village, he would go to where they are selling pami, pan wine. In the morning, pan wine tapas have brought out their pan wine from. He would say, um, Let's test it first. How much are you selling this jar? He said, Let, Let's test it. Pour. He will pour. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> How much is your own? This one. He said, What about this one? Let's test two of them. By the time he has gone around, he's drunk. He has finished drinking. 
he goes home the next morning he knows when they are he comes out again one day somebody now really said ah, ah. he started alerting the others he said can you notice this guy this is what he has been doing to us by the time you know it your job this thing is now almost half one person raised the alarm and the rest of them their eyes opened and then they started stopping him and that's how some boys are doing it you will test again eh? you will test Ada. you will test Funke and you will test Amina if they allow him if Sharia will not catch up with him and none of them is good for buying they did not design the product for test that's why every woman is created sealed with a, 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 a wrapping sheet called high men high men virginity is pressure high men is sealed and there's blood inside it if somebody's trying to steal he will be caught but now it's no more stealing the owner of the property is surrendering it test go and test after one year bring let's know if with the day you are willing to pay who will pay for what you have given him free in the days of ignorance get it who will pay for what is free people like free things oh including married men they like it So some women too, the damage got out of hand and say, okay, since men are not committing, no problem. They will collect, but I will also collect my own. Pay. Money for hand, back for ground. It's now a business. If you see that they don't think they are prostitutes because they don't stand on the streets. They think they are chicks. But what are they? You are selling, you are in business. But what are you selling? So you drive big jeeps, build big houses. What are you selling? You are importing tire. Or you are selling recharge card. Your desire shall be to your husband this cause has damaged many women many women it's a cause you see that thing that makes you unless there's a man you cannot be yourself you are made whole you are made in the image of god and you have to be whole it's when you are whole that you attract healthy people and you attract people who will treat you with respect when you are in suffering from this and you are needy with a lot of hole inside you with this thing that you can you attract men that are also sick who are busy who will take advantage of you and even when you are whole and you attract those sick ones when they come around you they know this is not somebody you can fly around with they either become straight and commit and take this thing or they go and find the type of people they are looking for And you can see the third one you shall rule over her women abuse women domination battering of women you can see it is a cause it's a cause it's a cause men that do it you're under a cause you are living under a cause you're living like a beast you are living like a fallen adam you see women as something to punch the strength god gave you is for you to batter and harass take advantage of women because of their emotional nature emotional nature take advantage of them run around take off it's a cause it's a cause that has to be broken off from your life the new adam the second adam was surrounded with ladies some have been prostitutes hanging around him they found back their identity without one day ever taking advantage of them authentic man authentic man authentic man 
You take a young girl out. Will she come back home? Will she come back safe? Will she come back? A young woman comes into her life. Will she come back? After some time, maybe you're married to her, you are dating her. They will see the improvement in her life. Because that's what a real man is. He's a nurturer. He takes something from one level of value to another level of value. That's the original Adam. You see how Jesus comes into your life? He transforms your life. When a real man comes into your life as a woman, he changes it. It activates a woman's destiny. It takes her into that place called the promised land, the place of destiny. A coarse man like falling Adam, butters her, dominates her. Instead of making her a partner, a friend, a lover, it turns her. A battered man is an oppressor. He doesn't have much to give. You marry him, your life is messed up. We have to heal the men because there is no healing of society until we heal the men. And there is no healing of families until we heal the men. Because men are the foundation of the human family. Genesis chapter 3 verse 17 and to Adam he said because you heeded the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree which I commanded you say you shall not eat of it let me make a point here there is what is called feminized men men that are ruled by women men that are not whole in the making of such men women contributed especially their mother women men that have been raped of their manhood so they can't stand if they have a vision they can't stand men that can't hear what god has planned for them to be and stay with it it's a woman a woman can rob you of your destiny a samson just a delilah you abandon your whole anointing you abandon your destiny you abandon your calling at the lives of delilah great men a man that was giving dominion over the whole earth and adam god's man just because a woman is dangling an apple an apple you turn your back even what you know to be clear that god called you to do you turn your back on it and you destroy a generation you are raised to help families You see how men try to oppress women? It's a cause. That's how a lot of women are used by the enemy to derail men. It's also a cause. And we hear about agents, agents, agents. They are there, and some of them are well dressed. Some are in the choir. Some are even some are intercessors. But that's one level. Of agents from Mohammed Ward and all that. They are there. Don't be fooled. They are there. And these days, many of them are carrying all kinds of diseases, HIV and all kinds of diseases. You test that apple once, the effect will last a lifetime. But the other ones, they may not be for marine war necessarily, but it's still the same thing to derail you from your destiny. Something that was a deliverer, born to set a nation free born to change the destiny of his generation and deliver the children of Israel from the media night one small girl there are women so weak men men so weak you can't see women pass and be normal and you see him he's a pastor he's an elder he's a deacon He's called to take over the business world. What the devil is after is your crown. Because he knows you have a dominion mandate. He knows that you are the one raised that will create jobs for thousands. He, that's what he's after. It's not, it's not sex that's the issue. He's after your crown, your authority, your scepter, your dominion mandate. That's what he wants. Collect apple in exchange for your destiny. Some people who are giving great ministries, great mandates, they will come and set up the trap. 
You see how he, he did it here? Collected Adam's dominion. Because you listened to your wife and abandoned what I told you. Have eaten the tree which I commanded you, saying you shall not eat of it. Cost is the ground for your sake. In toiling, you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Men and women, I want to tell you if you are toiling in your career, you're toiling in business, it's not the plan of God. That's not authentic life. We're going to tackle it because we're going to wipe that stuff. I said a change of life in 72 hours. That's not the authentic life. There is, it's not work that is the problem. It's somebody walking and there is nothing to show for it. Some even make the money on end of the month. Where did the money go? They can't tell you. It's not work. God works. Work is, is something good. And you should be. You should be engaged. The issue is a cost business. A cost ground. Which ground are you tilling? Ministry. Business. Career. Whatever it is. Is toiling and sweating. I want to say it again. Everything the first Adam cost, the second Adam came to reverse it. He did something to reverse these problems. He said, In toiling, you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Look at verse 18. Thorns and thistles he shall bring forth for you. You shall eat the herbs of the field. And of course, he said, This is what will continue till you go back to the dust. Go on to the next verse. The sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and dust to dust you shall return. Some people have been in that state 20 years now. God sent me your way this weekend to stop it. I said, God sent me your way this weekend to stop it. Just cooperate with God in this 72 hour. You will see. You will thank, thank whatever got connected our parts this weekend. Now, some have been in it 10 years. Some have been in this state 7 years. If you are in the range of 7 down, thank God. You have not really, if you see people that have born 40 years in the wilderness. You see a man is 70. He has nothing to show for all the years he spent working. Not even a plot of land. You see, a man, he's 70. He has nothing to show for all his years in business. He's still a tenant at 70. He's still, landlord is still harassing him at 68. You see some of them, they, they are subjected to all kinds of harassment. Pension line, they will stand in the line. Some fend their last time they came about three, died in Lagos. I read the newspaper, three again died in a burden. Some of their colleagues were agitated. Because if he doesn't get that. That's not the life you're going to live. I said, that's not the kind of life you're going to have. If not, it would have been better that Jesus did not come. If, if, if this thing was not addressed, then what's the purpose of the cross? If you don't know, that's what... The at Eden is where you diagnose the problem. The cross is where you find the solution. If we are going to solve the problem of Africa, you and I must take poverty seriously and tackle it. See this toiling thing, joblessness, unemployment, poverty. So you will see. You start talking about things like that you see some people who are going to help to contribute to that scholarship foundation who will help to advance it who can even say give me one person let me train in secondary school give me one person i'll send this guy to university because of purposelessness wasted living or spent living self-centered living he will come and create in line register his name But they are bright young men who can contribute to the future, but they don't have the means. But because he's been looking for a way to go to UK that he has been looking for since, he sees it as the opportunity. That's the kind of environment you and I find ourselves. 
so a few of us who have vowed our life to do good find ourselves under extreme pressure you have too many burden that you can't carry it burden that can kill a human being part of the reason is that because many have not found their place many need to wake up and find their place but nobody can solve all problems see when your pen finishes writing when it comes to speaking it takes back seat it's time for mike when mike finishes when it comes to dressing you take the suit every one of us has one function or another one thing you are created to do you have a purpose you have a purpose that purpose is a problem you are created to solve You see this sweating and toiling is not part of the deal. It's not part of the deal. Write it down. There are five wounds that disfigure men and women from. I'm just going to mention it. We're not going to discuss it. We're going to deal with it in another session. And then start applying the solution. There are five of them in totality. The first is the father wound. The father wound. Uh, I will show you how it works. In some families, it's absentee fatherhood. In so many lives, they never even knew their father. A father has a role to play in the making of a man. If a man steps into manhood without a father, he will not be a healthy man. He will not be a whole man. Something will be wrong until something happens to fill that void. When a, every young man you see cries and craves for the love of his father and the affirmation of his father. When your father tells you, I love you. When your father tells you, I believe you, you can do anything. You can accomplish anything. There's a proverb that said that any arm robber that was commissioned by his father will use his leg to break the gate down. That when your father sends you to steal, you will push the gate down with your leg. You can see a man, a 58-year-old man was crying for me. If you see the depth of the pain, and he held my leg, he said, I have found a father I never had. You are going to be my father. Please, I beg you, sir. And he was crying for such a depth. So finally, I took him to talk with him. He's 58 in the body, but he's carrying that wound according to him since he was eight he grew up on that massive abuse from his father abuse some his uncles that did that because the father was not there it, the most the, the most severe form of this damage is inflicted on men it's men that it damages the most but for our young women what it does is that the absence of the father's love leaves them with a wound that leaves them craving for a man's love when a father has played the role he should play in the life of a girl she's secured a man can't play her like that no she goes into a relationship with healthy self-esteem she doesn't go there but you see them they are looking for somebody that will show their love some of them are so pretty they don't know they don't believe it and that's why they can't kill their body the slightest guy that says I love you the second is overbearing mother's wound you know there are women that are very controlling very domineering some of them in their houses they have also dominated their husband the husband just keeps quiet in the house like a lamb so that the one running the show so this most severe damage is to their sons again they produce feminized men because they dominate the boys take over their life some of them is so sad that even when these boys are grown and are married they are still controlling their life they are still running their new family the wife they marry can't have rest you have to pray to be in her good favor if she likes you okay you might be able to enjoy that husband to a level but you have to know as a woman that you are sharing your husband with her the mother
the problem with those kind of women and the damages they create is that the boys they raise becomes weak men they don't succeed they find it very hard in the world of career business in the real world there find it very hard they are feminized their masculinity has been raped God is going to do a surgery in many of us here you will see certain things will finish you know something has gone out of you something has been fixed back you 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 you'll be able to function like you are designed to function these women think they are loving their son but the message those boys get get the signal is control domination they run their life till they ruin it they use all kinds of blackmail the one i know that will threaten the son with the fact that she will die when she start that thing, the boy will submit that's why jesus as a real adam the second adam taught us how to deal with that talking about purpose and ministry in functioning his purpose they told you your mother your brothers are looking at you say who is my mother hey, until you can fear that umbilical that hell do between you and your mom that get better you can't be an authentic man it doesn't mean he doesn't love his mother but you have to be able to stand your ground make a decision as a man you're not a little boy anymore you are afraid of hurting your mom hurt her she won't die she will stabilize that relationship will not balance and be healthy some of us can't live a christian life because your mom is crying at home if you do that if you give your life to god i will die let her die she won't die who is my mom who is my brother these ones that hear the word of god and do it if it's a rebellion jesus is rebelling but it's not rebellion it's authentic manhood Look at clarity in your career, in your business. He went to a wedding. Social clarity. You want to control all my friends, control who I can relate with, control all that. Some social lives, men social lives are ruined by the mothers in their life. He went there. Kenai and Galilee. Wine finished. Jesus knew what he was going to do. She came. Son, they don't have wine. Do you know what he said to her? He said, woman, what do you have to do with me? He didn't say, mother. If you want, I'll turn to you. Luke chapter 2. He didn't say, mother. He didn't say, mother of God. He didn't say, he didn't say hey, Mary. He said, woman, what have I do with you? Don't control my life, my friend. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? If you don't set that barrier before you get married, the battle will now be the other woman that comes into the life will suffer it. You don't keep them to that tiny baby attached to your own blicko. <laughs> and you know, but this is different from honor your father and mother. You have to keep that law obeyed. See how you are reporting your wife to your mom. You are not ashamed. You need to be flogged 40 strokes. Feminized man. The word of God is quick. Sharper than any two edges sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul. That's surgery. 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 In the lives of men and women. There's a guy in Lagos here. The two sisters came to be the wife. And he was sitting down supervising the beating. When I heard it, I sent for him. I said, your sisters too came to your... He will tell the woman, kneel down. Do jump. Hold your ear. Put your hands up as you'll be doing. You don't have a family to go back to. You know, you know. And then they were feeling for God. I called her. I called him. Man. I said... Were you aware of what happened? He said, I was there, Pastor. I said, you were there. He said, ah, Pastor, my sisters are very powerful. He said, we should even thank God that it wasn't my mother that came. Because when my mom comes, it's another thing. Even me, I have to go and hide. 
the bible says so shall a man live father and mother and cleave to his wife and the two shall become one flesh leave so you can cleave and then the marriage will work leave leave there's emotional detachments that must occur so you can make clear decisions I say your wife is going to get a new husband where you live here. I, 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 your, your, your husband is going to get a new man where you live here. He said, ah, Pastor, thank God that it's not my mother that came home. Hey. I looked at him. No, that's not a man. That's a woman wearing a man's clothes. How did they destroy his masculinity? Mommy boy wound. Mommy boy wound. The masculine that men that don't have any bites, any strength anymore to go and be the warrior and the lion they are created to be. So when they go out there, they'll say, ah, hey, traffic was too much there. That's why I came. They, they, there's not, they don't have stamina. They don't have perseverance. When they see a little obstacle, they give up. When he tell them, go and get that contract. He said, I got there and we waited for two hours. I, I just had to carry my things and go. And when they want to marry, they look for hardworking women that are making a lot of money. Because actually, it's their mother they are looking for. They are looking for mommy. So they marry a mommy. And some of us women have that, so we'll be there mommy him. You even give him money, he goes to present to your family and say it's dowry. He didn't marry you, you married him. You are hoping that he will be better after you marry him. Now you're married him, you can see now you are the one taking care of that whole family, you're the one buying all the goods, paying the rent. He's your car that he drove to go and see your people. They they hid it well so that whatever nobody will know, lest they think whatever. But now, what is happening? When you marry a man, you're going to sustain that man in that marriage. Oppression, whether it's colonization, apartheid, whatever, all form of slip rips men of manhood. It's a very damaging thing. The people who do such things, and that's the same thing when you do it in the family. That's why authentic manhood is called the art of fatherhood. A pastor needs to know it so you know how to raise healthy people and not damage them how to raise people to be healthy without damages if not you can end up damaging the image of God in a man in the name of over controlling women over controlling women and when that hole is in a woman the spirit of Jezebel easily enters to accommodate it The mother's wound and the mother's wound also happen to ladies the way it happens is uh, uh, the greatest manifestation of mother's wound in women is the absent mother's wound where she wasn't there it takes a woman to guide a woman into a womanhood there are basic things there are little little things some mothers don't know you have to discuss sex at a certain age when her body start changing when menstruation starts there are talks that are feminine talk and it's, it takes your mom to help her daughter let her know there's nothing wrong with you you're having painful, painful menstruation it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you it's just your body and this is how this thing goes you are still because insecurity starts all kinds of confusion starts inside and some can't understand what is happening to them they are left on their themselves and they go out there some crazy girl or sometimes a boy that teaches her and the boy that teaches you your womanhood will rape you of it it's a boy out there that teaches her this is how you cannot be pregnant this is how you can this is what you must know. you don't boys are boys born again boys unborn again boys men are men if you put yam before goat, goat will eat it. Be saying he is born again. 
you go inside and lie with him in a hotel room. He said, I know, I just visited him on the weekend. You know, I know John, he's such a gentleman. He's born again. He's such a, a good guy. He's so gentle. So I just spent only two days with him in his house. Ask him to be honest. He didn't tell you what was happening all through the night while you were sleeping. That he wasn't sleeping. He will get up. The born again nature inside him will restrain him. He will go pray. The prayer doesn't work. He comes back. He looks at something. He, he turns another. And some of you will even catch him trying to misbehave. Someone. He say, hey Joe, what are you doing? He said, you know, I'm alright. I'm alright. He said, you're alright. You're a naive woman. You were not properly mentored. You believe you can keep goat for lion, you won't eat it. Many are carrying wounds because they didn't respect the boundary God set them. We all kinds of things and be showing boys and believe, ah, you know, he's born again, he's born again. Men are moved by sight. Men are moved by sight. Born again or not. They asked Billy Graham, he said, you are a man of impeccable integrity. You are known to have high moral standards. And you have set an example for American preacher. He said, he said, how did you do it? He said, because I recognize that I'm vulnerable to women. So, and I'm put a boundary. I don't carry ladies in my car. I don't, I don't do something. He said something clear boundary. And he even typed it. And told his staff and other pastors that work with him to hold him accountable. I don't want to wait till I fall. I know I'm weak in that side. He said, that's why I did it. He said, I'm not known today to be a man of integrity because I'm better than others. It's just because I set the boundary that protected me. He said, the second thing is that because I know that I have weaknesses in the area of money, I set financial boundaries. I don't touch money. I don't handle money. There are accountants. There are all kinds of, there is a team who manage that. And so, he kept me free from trouble. They pay me my allowance. I get my allowance. I spend the one that is mine. So, I, that's how I never had the problem. Not because I'm stronger than some of the people you call with. No, but because I'm actually weaker than them and I told myself the truth and put the boundary and he, for him I heard he said when you sit in the front of a car driving with a lady on your side and those laps are showing he said each time I turn I start losing control even as a Billy Graham so I knew I had to stop carrying women in my car unless my wife is there stop deceiving yourself that you are strong the Bible said let he that thinketh his stand take heed let it say for Oh, we're going to solve this problem. I say you are not living here with any of those things still. No way. No way. Lift up your hands and talk to the Lord. Talk to him. If something is going to happen in your life. Tell him I lay my life down before you. Whatever it takes. Don't leave me the way you met me. Don't leave me the way you met me. I will show you how to heal relationship with your mom how to heal relationship with your father every girl need to know how to do that every man need to know how to heal relationship with your dad Hallelujah. Project Malachi chapter 4 verse 5 and 6. I want us to pray about this. Project 
Hallelujah. Project Malachi chapter 4, verse 5 and 6. I want us to pray about this. Project it. Let them see it. Behold, I send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. There is an Elijah anointing. And what it does is healing of relationships, families, restoration. Look at what it does, verse 6. It will turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. That's one of the major assignments of authentic manhood. But there are a lot of young men wounded because they don't have the father's heart the father's blessing the father's affirmation they've grown with that whole void inside them it affects a man's masculinity it affects a man's identity there are a lot of young women it's crisis with their mom all through and they've grown some are even married and they're still having that wound there's a cause that comes on the next generation when parental relationship breaks down it produces a cause of rejection it produces hopelessness it produces misdirection a lot of our, our youths that you see committing crime this problem started in the family one said we have loveless materialism in my house daughter of a very wealthy man he said as for money and anything you have but no love do you see her jumping up and down with men looking for what she needed for her father affirmation let's smile the head with a cause for men it causes failure it causes struggles it's a cost that comes from dysfunctional families dysfunctional relationship with parents lift up your hands and say lord whatever way this thing has affected me or the cause of Adam that came from the garden where man fell. Heal me from the inside. Fix me. Make me whole again. Make me whole again. This thing can defeat a great man that God has called and make him operate. He will keep operating below his potentials. This thing can defeat a giant. If you notice, the problem of Samson started between him and his father. Samson's problem was not Delilah first. It was crisis between him and his parents. He now manifested in all those misbehavior that people saw. The problem of the prodigal son did not start with squandering money. It started because he did not know his father's love. It causes a lot of confusion in our lives. It leads to problems and crises and failures. God wants to make you whole again. Take my mind. Transform me. Project that song. Take my heart. Transform me. Take my will Conform it To yours To yours Oh Lord Let's do it one more time Take my heart I'm Transform me, take my will, conform me to your 